Fat Claw. Fat Claw. Yo, what? That's way too much. What's up, guys? Dr. Greg here, back with another episode of Races Explained. In my first reaction video, this first video that I want to react to is actually like a friend of mine. He's doing amazing things on YouTube and on TikTok. It's like a combo of like ASMR and dentistry. I don't know how he did it, but he managed to somehow pull off a combination of ASMR and dentistry. He's done crazy videos where he's brushed with like a 24 karat gold toothbrush. He's brushed with a Pokemon toothbrush and he even has a video where he created his own toothbrush and brushed with that. So I'm gonna put his channel down in the description of today's video if you wanna see more stuff by him, but it's pretty awesome stuff. And today we're gonna to be reacting to his video that's called, I Got Braces. So let's go. All right, let's check this video out. Let's find out if this is the best toothbrush for your braces. This is the Curepox Ortho. It's a pretty kit. good a product kit. Ortho wax, which helps relieve irritation from your braces. All right, yeah. So if you guys don't have braces yet, or if you do, you know ortho wax is like a must. You need this stuff with your braces, especially early on in your treatment, because when you first get started with braces, you know the braces can get caught on your lips and your cheeks and stuff like that, and cause a little bit of irritation. So ortho wax in a kit, absolute must. It's pretty cool. What is that? An inner oh, inner dental brushes. These are really important for brushing the areas between the braces and your teeth. It's really hard to get in that area with a regular toothbrush. So inner dental brushes. Awesome find. Three different size bristles. A small, medium, and large. Dang, that large is huge. You don't think you need something that specific big. Specific areas around your brackets. Yes. Ooh, surprisingly soft. All right, these little tips are really important and it helps get in the area that you can't have your toothbrush fit around. A lot of electronic toothbrushes come with this tip and if not, you can get a little manual one and get in those hard to reach areas. Most importantly, an ultra soft toothbrush designed to clean braces specifically. Look at those bristles. Fun and effective. It's nice. disclosing time. Disclosing die. So for those of you guys that don't know what this is, this is a disclosing tablet. And what it is is you chew on it and what it can do is actually stain the plaque in your mouth and it shows areas where you're not brushing very well. So if you have clean teeth, it shouldn't have that much staining in your mouth because it only binds to like the bacteria in your mouth. So if you have clean teeth before you chew on this disclosing dye, you probably won't have much staining. But if you haven't been brushing for a minute, it'll definitely show where you have plaque. I use this all the time for my patients that aren't brushing well. I'll have them go brush and then chew on a disclosing tablet. And when they come back, they're like, oh my God, look at all these areas that are still purple. And that's because those are areas that they didn't brush well and it shows you where you can focus on brushing a little bit more. It's super satisfying sound. Let's check the before results. So yeah, this guy probably hasn't brushed for a minute. That's why he has plaque that's built up on his teeth. And can we take a second? This guy's teeth look amazing. Why does he need braces? Moon toothpaste fresh mint. Moon toothpaste, is that? One of my favorite that flavors. Right in it? Okay, cool. Never used Moon Toothpaste before, but it has fluoride, so definitely recommend it for braces. Fat glob. Fat glob. Okay, that's way too much toothpaste. Um, I know what he's doing. It's kind of fun, but you don't need that much toothpaste when you're brushing your teeth. You only need a pea-sized amount of toothpaste, so it's like a tiny, tiny bit of toothpaste that you really need. It. And if it's for children under like the age of two or three, all you need is what's called a schmear. It's like a little smear, like a, like literally a grain of rice size. And you're not supposed to swallow toothpaste because you know too much fluoride can actually damage tooth development and actually cause tooth staining. Um, it makes your teeth stronger, but it doesn't look very aesthetic. So. You don't need too much toothpaste, and when you do brush your teeth with toothpaste, make sure to spit it out, but don't rinse because you want that fluoride to sit in your mouth. The longer fluoride can sit in the mouth and can be absorbed by the tooth structure, the stronger the teeth are, and less likely to get cavities. Let's get brushing. These are the softest bristles I've ever felt. That's really important. When you brush your teeth, you wanna make sure that you have soft bristles, because if your bristles are too hard, you can get something called abrasion, which basically looks like you're shaving away your tooth structure with too strong of a toothbrush. And that's like brushing your teeth with sandpaper. So very important to have soft bristles when you're brushing your teeth. Tiny glob. Tiny glob. Now, see that tiny glob is a little bit more appropriate for the main toothbrush, but anyways, you get the point. This tiny toothbrush is super effective. It is super effective. The main toothbrushes, it's a little bit hard to get to hard to reach spaces. So it's really important to have a tiny toothbrush to follow up your main brush and to make sure you get all those nooks and crannies around the braces. And this inner proximal brush is really important also to make sure that you're cleaning those areas. Dang, this guy did a great wow. job. So what's the DDS, the dental he got a solid clean in with his toothbrush. And you know, I love this guy's channel. Dental Digest is amazing. I've been watching this guy grow on like TikTok and YouTube. He's doing some amazing, amazing things. He used a manual toothbrush in this video. And it's really important that if you're using a manual toothbrush that you use the proper technique. If you see the way he's brushing, this guy knows what he's doing. He's a dental student. He knows the proper angulation of your toothbrush. If you want to see what I think is the best toothbrush, I have a whole video where I talk about my favorite toothbrush with braces. So 
I'll link it out in this corner as well as put it in the description of today's video. But overall, A plus by Dental Digest for making these videos. He's doing amazing things. Sh huge shout out to that guy. Him and I have been talking recently. So if you guys want to see a collab video, let me know down in the comments. If you guys want to see more reaction videos, also let me know. I'm more than happy to do them. And let me know which videos you guys want me to react to, and I'll be more than happy to do it. If you guys enjoyed today's video or have any questions about things I talked about here or on other videos, let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure to like this video as well as hit the subscribe button for more content like this. That's all I have for you guys in today's episode. But for now, Dr. Greg out.